Welcome to this introduction video, where we will explore the basic features of Trelson assessment. To create an assignment or an exam in Trelson assessment, start by clicking Create and then select Assignment. Here you give your assignment a name and set the desired time it should be available to your students. If you want a longer time window, say for example your students are to write an essay during a few days, you can easily adjust it. You have full flexibility here. Furthermore, you can choose whether students should be anonymous or not, and whether the assignment should be submitted automatically, at the deadline. You can also set if the assignment should close after a certain period of time. Let's set this assignment on a 90 minute time limit. When creating your assignment, you're able to control how you manage feedback, and you can choose to publish the results automatically or manually. By choosing manually, you can complete all feedback before sharing it with your students. You also have the option to use different PIN codes, including one to start the assignment and one to submit it. This gives you full control over when students can begin, resume and finish the assignment. The only mandatory PIN for you to create your assignment is the one required to resume. This is to prevent the student from entering and exiting a test or an assignment as they please. Sometimes, all students at a certain age in a school are to take the same exam. In this case, an administrator in your organization might already have created a template assignment. To create an assignment from a template, you click on Create, and then select Assignment from Template. A list of active templates appears. Select the one you want to use. All settings are already configured by an administrator in your organization so you only need to change the date and times for your assignment. Let's look at the security clients. The different security clients are the options available for locking down students' devices during the assignment. When creating your exam or assignment, you are required to choose one or more security clients. For Chromebooks, we typically use the kiosk app. When using this as a security client, your students will complete the assignment in a lockdown environment and only have access to what you, as the teacher, have allowed. If students are using a PC or a Mac, you can use the Safe Exam browser. It locks down students' devices and limits their access during the assignment in a similar manner to the kiosk. For iPad users, there is an iOS app that locks the devices during the assignment. Let's add teachers and students to our assignment. In Trelson Assessment, it is easy to collaborate with other teachers. Click on Add Teachers and then add user as a teacher. Here you can specify the different levels of permissions for your colleagues. By just adding a teacher, you allow them full access to edit the assignment. If you only wish to give them grading access, you press this option. Adding students is just as easy. You can add them one by one, like this, or you can choose to import students from your Google Classroom courses or Google Groups to quickly add them to the assignment. Remember that students will not have access to the assignment until the assignment's start date and time have arrived. If we want to customize the assignment for individual students, we can do that. 
Click on the three dots next to a student's name and select Customizations. Here you can give the student extra writing time, access to spell check and text to speech, or make other customizations. For example, if a student needs a different background color, you can change it here. It's important to discuss with your students to understand their unique needs. During the assignment, it is easy for you to monitor what is happening in real time. Here, you can see if students have started, how long they've been working on the assignment, if a student has exited the assignment, and whether they have submitted or not. You can even peek into a student's assignment to see what they're doing by clicking on the icon that looks like an eye. Remember, the student cannot see that you are observing their work. Time to add resources to our assignment. By resources, we mean materials that students may need to complete the assignment or exam, such as a PDF, a video, or a calculator. To add a resource, click on Add Resources. Here you can include materials from your Google Drive, YouTube videos, and other resources that support the learning process. If you add a text file, make sure to check the box to convert the file to a PDF with text-to-speech support, which is required for students to have the text read aloud for better comprehension. If you wish to add a resource only accessible to selected students, you can do that by uploading the resource, pressing the gear icon, restrict access, and selecting the students that are supposed to have access to the specific resource during the assignment. The content of the assignment is created in the module view. Here you can add one or more writing spaces for an essay or build a questionnaire for an exam or a quiz. We start by editing the writing space by clicking the pen. By clicking the gear icon, I can customize the writing space and provide instructions to the student. Let's paste in a passage for the students to read and some questions to answer regarding the passage. In this assignment, we want to combine the writing space with the questionnaire. In this case, we can choose to import a Google form that you have already created by pressing Add Module and choose Import Google Form. We can also choose to create a form from scratch by clicking Add Module, Add and choosing Question. I can start creating different types of questions for the assignments. We can choose from question types such as multiple choice, checkboxes, drop-down lists, match with drag and drop, voice recordings, and many, many more. Now, let's go to the already prepared form that has been created for the purpose of this demo video. Here are some examples of how you can build a form. In the module view, you can build the exams or assignments exactly how you want them to be. So feel free to experiment until you find the question types that best suit your teaching. By pressing the gear icon, you can select automatic grading. It is here in the module view that you specify which answers are correct and assign points for each correct answer. You do this by clicking Set Score. Before leaving the module view, let's review the settings one more time by clicking the gear icon. Here, you can choose to display one question at a time and shuffle the questions 
so that all students see the questions in a different order. Before allowing your students to conduct the assignment, you can use the preview function to see how it looks from the student's perspective. Try answering a few questions to ensure that everything works as you want it to. When students open Trelson Assessment, they will see the assignment and can begin working on it by pressing Open. In the upper left corner of the writing space, the student can change the font, size, use bold, italic or underlined styles, use special characters and apply color or formatting. In the upper right corner of the writing space, there are options for student customizations such as enlarging the writing space. And if the student has been provided access by the teacher, they can use features such as the spell check and the text-to-speech function. Let's look closer at the text-to-speech function. By selecting the desired text and clicking on the icon that looks like a figure, the student can have the text read aloud. We recommend that the student adjust the reading speed for an optimal experience. If we look at the added resources, there is a PDF that can be read aloud with the text-to-speech function activated. By selecting the desired text and clicking on the speaker icon in the upper right corner of the PDF, the text can be read aloud. In this assignment, we combined a writing space with a form. Let's have a look at how the form looks. In this particular case, we chose to display one question at a time. The student can therefore begin to answer the questions one by one. The split view feature is popular among students during assignments and exams. It is located at the top right and provides a shared view with the form or the writing space on the left and added resources on the right. This allows students to work on the assignment while reading or watching a video for smooth information processing. All students can use a reading guide that can be activated or deactivated by clicking a button in the toolbar at the top right. It facilitates focus on the current text segment by darkening areas that are not used and highlighting the selected area for efficient text processing, which can be a tool for all students. When the assignment is complete, the student can click the arrow in the lower right corner to submit it. They will then receive a summary showing whether all questions have been answered or not. If the student is satisfied, they can click Submit Assignment. Once your student has submitted an assignment or an exam, it is time to provide feedback. Go to your teacher's view and observe that this student has an icon change from an I to a document. Click on Give Feedback. The Feedback module opens and you are able to provide your feedback, either in writing or orally, by recording your voice. If you want to learn more about how the Feedback module works, please go to trelson.com. When feedback is complete, the icon changes to green, indicating that you have finished the feedback for that student. 
To make the feedback visible to your students, you need to choose to publish the results if you have chosen manual result publication. Once published, your students can read or listen to your feedback inside the application. Thank you for joining us in our demo of Trelson Assessment. As you can see, it offers many powerful features for creating, monitoring, and assessing assignments in an efficient and customizable way. And hey, I haven't shown you half of it, but for your sake, I kept it short.